Today, we are going to talk about why nodular or nodular cystic acne does not respond well to over-the-counter pimple creams. To begin with, let's start off with some basic structures. This is a cross-section of a healthy hair follicle, and this is a clogged pore. Nodular acne are inflamed clogged pores 6 mm or bigger in size. This is a cross-section of typical nodular acne. Appearing as large inflamed bumps, nodular acne often feel firm and painful to the touch, without any clear head on the skin surface, and may persist stubbornly for days or weeks. Acne develops when a pore becomes clogged from overactive sebaceous glands, or an abnormal buildup of dead skin cells. Clogged pores usually develop into pimples that often clear up quickly. When a bacteria known as P. acnes that lives on the skin gets trapped inside the clogged pore, this may lead to an infection. The infection affects the deeper skin layers resulting in inflammation and the development of hard nodules known as nodular acne. Sometimes a secondary bacteria infection can cause the lesion to grow with pus. This is known as nodular cystic acne and is considered a severe form of acne due to the high risk of scarring. Similar to nodular acne, there is no presence of a visible head and attempting to squeeze the bump may cause the bacteria to spread in the skin layers and lead to further inflammation and scarring. 